In today's video, I finally make a roller mat for the Innovative Marine Novo Fusion tanks. Uh, it's going to work for most of the smaller tanks. However, I don't have mine set up yet, so I haven't gotten a chance to test it. I'm also going to give you an update on the Waterbox Peninsula Mini roller mat and the Fluval Evo 13.5 roller mat. Be sure to stay to the end if you're looking for the Innovative Marine roller mat because I am going to make a limited set of models for testing. I'm going to go ahead and let people know where they can get their hands on one of those, which are ready right now, and they will go out before the pre-orders are available. Welcome back to IC Live. My name is Mark. It has been several months since I posted the last roller mat video, and the popularity of these things is a double edged sword for me because I only have a few hours a week to work on these projects. So now I find myself trying to fulfill orders because I'm currently making these all myself by hand and with my printers. So I've been unable to make more content or more videos or even work on any of the other host of projects, which I've got like 12 sitting behind me, all about half finished, um, that I'd like to go ahead and produce for everybody here and ultimately start making more cool stuff. So I am working on ways to better fulfill these roller mats and ultimately manufacturers to produce these for me so it's not bogging down my time and I can get back to what I like doing best and that is creating. So I apologize for anybody who's been sitting here waiting for more content from me. I will get back to a more consistent basis once I figure out how to get these darn roller mats made without eating up all of my time. All right, so let's get into today's project. It is the innovative marine roller mat for the Nuvo Fusion tanks, the smaller all-in-one nanos. Um, doesn't work for the larger ones just yet because they have a different size chamber. And interestingly, the innovative marine tanks, they have this little overflow piece in the back chamber that made this project significantly more challenging. Now for today, I don't need to start with a drawing because I already know what I'm making. Hopping into Fusion 360, here is the innovative marine Nuvo Fusion Peninsula 20. I actually modeled this tank in Fusion 360 at the same time I ordered it. So I actually have this tank sitting in my garage and I've already unboxed it so I was able to confirm these dimensions for making the roller mat. Unfortunately, it's taken longer to get the thing set up because I'm building a stand for it and ultimately I'm making an entire series of videos about the setup and design of this specific tank. But that is for a future date. All right, here is my quick design montage. With the design complete, I got my first test print and this thing fits nearly perfect. I do see some slight modifications that I can make to it that I will have in the final print. Time to go ahead and laser cut out the sides. All right, things are going well. Now I just need a few more parts. I need the rods, the rollers, the clips, and the knobs and the screw. And with the snap of a finger, this thing is assembled. Obviously, I didn't just snap my fingers to assemble it. Time for the first fully assembled test fit. I'm gonna go ahead and slip the basket in, and we already know this thing fits great. And as I slide in the carriage, it's fit really snug. Now the carriage has to be slid in with the basket pushed back so that once the carriage is now sitting firmly in the basket, I have to now push it forward. It will now slide up against this little lip that I've got in the overflow chamber that helps the water kind of flow outward. And that's basically it. It's fitting great, but this is all I can do now until I get the tank fully set up. But I do have one more surprise for this one. Now with this roller mat for the innovative marine tank, I did design this one specifically with a cover. Just to make it more sleek, it's got a cover that goes over the top 
covers up the rolls, and ultimately, I know a lot of people have been asking about smell. I've had no issues with smell, but something like this should help if it was a problem. Now, I know I'm going to get asked to make this for the water box and the fluval, and I will do that. I'm going to go ahead and get to that in a very near future project. But jumping forward for the rest of this video, let's go ahead and give you an update on the current status of the fluval and the water box roller mats, along with how to change the filter rolls as I have been able to upgrade how that whole system works. All right, starting off with the water box rolling mat. This thing is, for the most part, the same. I haven't made any major changes to it, except I've adjusted the basket a few times, but nothing really critical. Just making the basket hole sizes just a little bit bigger. Also completely filling in one side of the basket just to make sure the water flows properly and I don't have any water escaping. Now, as you can see from the waist side of this roller fleece, it is pretty green and ultimately this thing is working really well for me. I'm only twisting it um, about a few inches every day. Now, this is gonna totally vary depending on the bio load that you have in your tank, but for me, a few inches every day is working great. Another suggestion would be like a full roll every say three days, maybe four days, uh, but ultimately it does not need a full roll every single day. You will go through the fleece rolls way too quickly and not really use them sufficiently. I've had these rollers on my systems for about four months now, and in that time period, I've only gone through one full roll and I'm currently about a quarter into my next roll. So they are lasting me a long time, but once again, this is all gonna come down to your tank's bio load and how clean you want your water. Moving on to the fluval roller mat, I have made a bunch more changes to this one and it's primarily focused around the basket. The basket has not been easy to make because if you wanna print it, it takes way too long and ultimately I'm printing everything. Um, or I do some sort of combo of printing and acrylic cutting, but then there's all this crazy assembly time that takes forever. Also, I'm trying to maximize the amount of water that goes through it so water can escape. So I made some minor iterations on this basket. Ultimately, the carriage has not changed at all. So I do hope in the near future that this basket is going to be locked in and I do not need to make any more changes as this right here, what you're looking at, is my possibly final design, but we will see. All right, the main topic I wanted to get to in this update has been the rolls and how to change them, and ultimately the price of the rolls. So. I've got a lot of questions why the roll's so expensive right now, and that is because I'm currently rolling them myself, cutting them myself, and ultimately printing out the pieces that connect the roll to the roller mat carriage. Now, I do hope that this changes because I want to get these bad boys mass produced and figure out some better ways so this isn't done manually, so I do expect those prices to go down soon. But let's talk about how to replace a roll. All right, so let's say you went through your entire roll and now you've just got this cardboard tube and these little end pieces. Now what these are is these are screws. One is a gear screw, the other one's a knob screw. You can go ahead and twist these to the left. These will come out of the little cardboard tube that they're sitting in. And then ultimately you're gonna insert these into the new roll and then start to screw them in. They can be very tight at times and you wanna try your best not to handle the roll all that much because the roll can slide around or slide off and dislodge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on either side of the new roll and I'm just gonna to start to twist them both, putting pressure at the same time. They will start to catch and then eventually start to twist themselves into the roll. Now I don't wanna to go too far. All I've gotta do is start to get the edges just a little bit snug. Now, quick note, these screws can break. If they break, no problem, just shoot me an email and I will send you some new screws. All right, once you have them inserted, now you can go ahead and push the roll onto the top clips of your roller mat. So go ahead and insert it. Now, if you haven't already, you have to go ahead and dispose of the previous roll. Now, it is on a rod and the rod you need. So you can't go ahead and just throw the whole thing away. You want the rod that's sitting in the center. 
you can unravel the entire thing or you can go ahead and cut it off with a razor blade, X-Acto knife, whatever you need. Once you get the rod out, you can go ahead and take that rod, insert that rod into the lower clip, all right, the one that's gonna go ahead and roll up the fleece. Then I'm gonna take the fleece, I'm gonna wrap the fleece all the way around the roller mat and I'm gonna grab a piece of tape could be painter's tape, boxing tape, scotch tape, doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little piece of tape on the edge of that fleece, and I'm gonna contact the tape onto the rod, and then I'm gonna to start to spin the rod. You don't wanna have much resistance on the fleece at this point because you want the fleece to roll and catch on itself. So once it starts to roll and catch on itself, now you can start putting a little pressure on it and make sure that roll starts rolling nice and tight. You wanna go ahead and roll it sufficiently so you know that it's secure, and that is it. Now you're gonna go ahead and take the carriage with the fleece, and you're gonna insert that back into your basket. Quick note here, you can go ahead and set the fleece up to go whichever direction you want, left to right, right to left, it does not really matter. However, I prefer to have the fleece, new fleece come in on the side that is not having the overflow of the water and then come around and up on the side where the direction of the water is going to flow. So most cases that is going from left to right. So that wraps up the core of this video. Like I said, I wanted to give you an update on the Innovative Marine along with the other roller mats. Now, for those of you that stayed to the end, I am going to make this Innovative Marine roller mat set for pre-order. And for the first five pre-orders that I get, I'm gonna go ahead and send you out the immediate prototype that I've got already ready and available so you do not have to wait to get your feedback. And ultimately, if you guys determine that there's any problems or there's any major upgrades, I will go ahead and reprint or recreate and resend you the roller mat so that it functions properly. And this is gonna be done before I actually start fulfilling the pre-orders. So ultimately, you're gonna be the first to get it and I'm gonna make some design iterations if it's necessary. And once it's ready, I'll start getting it out to everybody else. So go to IC Live, the link is in the description if you'd like to order the Innovative Marine Roller Mat. All of the other roller mats are currently available and being fulfilled. For everyone that is looking for a roller mat for their specific tank that I have not created yet, please be sure to comment. I am keeping a running list and ultimately the next tank that I make a roller mat for is going to be the one with the most suggestions. So that wraps up today's video, but before we go, I'm going to give you a sneak peek on some future projects. Coming up soon, I've got this innovative marine tank that I'm gonna go ahead and get fully set up. I still have to make the stand and a whole bunch of stuff like the aquascape and so on. This is what I call the Earl tank. I actually had this set up in 2014 and it was super cool. I can't wait to get it set back up because now with 3D printing, I can make this thing look polished. This is the octopus arm frag rack and I've actually already transplanted a whole bunch of zoanthids onto it. And what this is gonna go into is a fully custom fluval spec five gallon tank that I've already got running in my kitchen and right now it's currently cycling. Last up here, I've got the giant octopus arm aquascape that I printed in a video a long time ago. It has just been sitting in my garage because I have not had the time to set up the tank, which is also sitting right here to the left. So I'm gonna be building this tank and creating all of the filtration from scratch. And this thing is gonna be epic. I cannot wait to get to it. It is long overdue and I've actually made like 10 different prototypes of this tank that nobody's ever seen. That is it, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment about what tank I should make a roller mat for next, or which of these projects I should work on first and actually get a video finished so you guys can check it out. Have a good one, and I will see you live in the next video.